but it's not me, it's you What you're turning into is some kind of something that I never knew It used to be okay and I like you that way But I don't think that I like you better No, I don't think that I like you better Hey everyone, John Festmeyer here uh, Working on my thesis as I say every time, uh, links uh, there will be a link to my blog below, and you can look at um, other uh, episodes of this vlog to see what I'm talking about. But this is my 3D modeling thesis for Academy of Art University. Um, and I just figured I'd show this real quick. Um, <clears throat> I've been working on a few different things this week uh, for Anna mainly. I've got her tights here. Her, her, her body is sculpted pretty well, and, and I'll need to do more detail later, but I'm moving on to, to getting some of her clothes and accessories. So I got these tights. There will be uh, straps going up here, um, and I suppose in the back, too. Haven't gotten to texturing any of this yet, but you can see her clothes there. And I've started working on her steampunk goggles. They're fairly simple at this point. I don't know if I'm going to add more to them or not. <clears throat> And some of getting this all to fit correctly will, will have to do with, um, you know, I'll need to be sculpting it in ZBrush. But I think it's looking okay. Um, so I got the main main goggles here. This is actually two pieces. There's the, um, the circular part, and then um, this next, the next piece right behind it that um, molds it to her face. So if I bring her in briefly to show... It looks like that. And then I've got this piece back here on either side, which is supposed to be a leather uh, strip. And I plan to put in some little... Um, I may need to make this a little thinner. I don't, I don't know yet. I'm going to see how it all looks. But I plan to put in some little bolts in here to show you know that how it's held on there. And the idea of that is, of course, to uh, make it uh, softer on her face. And leather is uh, a material that they would have had back then in the 1860s and presumably in a steampunk universe. That's a little leather strip there as well. And these are leather going back to her ears. And they're at an angle like that to go over her ears. Uh, right here and here are, uh, I have it looped around. Um, and then there will be a cloth piece in the back. This thing I'm, I've just started working on here is, you know, if any of you you've ever seen the belts where you've got uh, a, a cloth belt coming around and then there are two of these and you slip the belt uh, through the middle of the two and then down through one and pull it and that, that keeps it tight. Uh, that's how I plan to have her head part go. Uh, probably on this side or the, I don't know, pro on one of the sides I'll have it to where the cloth is just permanently attached and then she just tightens it on one side. So I'm not sure which side I'll do that on. It seems to make sense that it would be the right side. So maybe I'll do it over over here because um, presumably she's right-handed. Although, you know, I could say she's left-handed and put it there. be a little interesting. Um, so, yeah, not a lot to show today, but that is kind of the main thing I'm working on. Also, if you've been uh, watching with Creed himself, um, the main character, I did bring his shoulders in a little bit. They were looking a little big to me, and I think it was mainly a muscle thing, so I did um, bring those in um, a little, and it looks, he looks more balanced now. And I've started to do some detail work on his face. Um, I'm not sure how much detail I'm going to need to go into that is based just on the actual guy he's based on. Or if I'm going to, um, I'll probably want to bring it, um, again, look at some more people who are emaciated or some more good depictions of zombies like they have in uh, The Walking Dead and see what they've done with the faces and bring some of those elements in for the, the decayed look. But otherwise, um, he's coming along pretty well. And I will need to go up to another level of detail on him where you get kind of the, uh, the look of the pores and, and all that in his skin. So... Fortunately, I did get my um, <clears throat> my RAM upgrade, and I have been able to bring my um, models up to the next level. So, Anna, 
This is not the high resolution version, but I'm showing her anyway. Um, obviously, this is this is uh, actually the, the lowest resolution version at this point. But I have her up to about 10 million polygons, and Creed himself up to about 9 million polygons. So there's a, a lot to work with there, and the amount of RAM I have, I might be able to go higher. I, I don't, I haven't tried yet. That would be getting uh, actually in the 40 million polygon range because it does quadruple every time. So, so maybe not. <laughs> but, uh, but 10 million is a lot. That's a lot of detail. And um, on top of that, I can always use when I render these um, displacement maps. What a displacement map is, is it's a, a detailed uh, flat map of the character that wraps around the object, much like a texture. Um, but what it does is within programs like Maya, which is what I'm using here, um, you can use a low ver resolution mesh, but the displacement map will actually displace the geometry such that it looks like it's the very high resolution. Uh, sometimes you'll want to use a combination of a displacement map and a bump map for the really fine detail. Um, so it can it can all be done. Anyway, yeah, I'm kind of happy with how this is coming out. I'm going to keep working on this. I need to merge together vertices and shrink this down and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But and it will look more like this, smoothed, which is what uh, those belt things usually look like. It's kind of it's flat in the part that goes onto the um, leather side and then curved for where the cloth comes out. Uh, so that way when it pulls, this flat part doesn't shift around, it just holds on. Uh, and of course I need to get glass in there and and yeah, I may I may put a few more things on here. I'm not I'm not sure yet. I kinda like the simple look, but I think it would be really cool if nothing else, maybe to have some kind of design she might put on or something. I don't know. I need to I need to think that through. I am trying to finish or at least mostly finish uh, Creed and Anna this um, this semester because next semester I want to focus on Coconino, the coyote, who I haven't even started yet. But you know, if I'm just working on primarily on him, that shouldn't be too tough. And then on on posing them and getting everything. Uh, together. Another step I need to do is <clears throat> to create scene sheets that are basically going to say um, what the um, finished demo reel is going to look like. And I want to have a little bit of animation in there, not a lot. I was thinking a little bit more before, and then I, you know, was talking to my instructor and kind of thinking to myself and realizing, you know, I, I it's not a demo anim, it's you know, it's not an animation demo reel. It's a modeling demo reel, but a little bit of animation, just a little bit, can go a long way in kind of just, you know, making it stand out a little more. So what I'm thinking is to use that in the scene where, in, in the, in the, yeah, in the post scene where Creed and uh, Coconino are coming out of, coming into a, uh, a bar, a saloon, and just have a little animation there, maybe have Coconino barking and maybe have Creed looking around and looking at the camera or, or something like that. So that's what I'm thinking at the moment. Of course, that could, could very well change as I continue to work on this, but okay. So that's, that's what I've done recently, and I'll have more in my next video.